Hi, so for today we're going to talk about the finding the general elevation of a line. So basically this is my very first video in analytic geometry. And for this video we're going to talk about the general equation of the line and some of the standard form of the line. Okay, so we have here the general equation for a line. We have ax plus by plus c. Oops, that is equal to zero. That's the general equation of a line and where a and b and c are constants. Okay. So, as you can see here, the general equation of a line is a linear, okay, whose uh, uh, degree of x and y should be 1. Okay, and we have the standard forms of the line, which is, for number 1, we have the slope-intercept form. We have y is equals to m, which is the slope, and multiplied by x plus b, which is the y-intercept, okay? When we say y-intercept in an equation of a line, in order for us to get the y-intercept, okay, from the general equation of a line, we must let x is equal to 0 and get the value of y. Okay? So that's the y-intercept. For number 2, that's the slope-intercept form, I mean. For number 2, we have the point-slope form. We have y minus y sub 1. If we are given a, a one-point coordinate, okay, and the slope is also given, we can actually find the general equation of the line okay, by using the point slope form, wherein we have y minus y sub 1 is equals to the slope multiplied by x minus x sub 1. x sub 1 and y sub 1 denoting the coordinates of a certain uh, uh, line through it which it passes. Okay, So for number 3, we have two point form. Basically, this is, an, this is a more general form of the point slope form because as we can see here that the slope is actually equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 that is change in y over change in x so if we're going to let this m equal to this we have this formula so if we are given a two coordinates okay two set of points through which the line passes through we can easily find again the general equation of the line and lastly, we have already the intercept form, wherein we have the A as the x-intercept and B as the y-intercept. So it is given in this form, x over A plus y over B is equal to 1. That's the intercept form. And we have another what we call the normal line. So but we will discuss it on, on, on the upcoming videos that I'm going to upload. So for now, we have the standard forms and we have the general equation of a line and again the general of equation of the line is ax plus by plus c is equal to zero so what are we going to do here in our uh, video today we're going to solve some equation of a line we're going to to find the equation of a line okay general equation of a line let's try so for number one we have defined the equation of the line with slope equal to three and y intercept is negative two thirds so for number one okay so we have a slope equal to 3. So that means we have an m is equal to 3. Okay? And we have a y-intercept. Okay? Y-intercept b is equal to negative 2 thirds. So from our standard formula of the equation of the line, so let's say that the number 1 is asking what is the general. Okay? Find the general equation of the line. So from this, from the, our standard form of a line, we can have, we can easily find the equation of this line using the, okay, uh, slope intercept. Y is equal to mx plus b. So we have the m, which is the slope. We have the b, which is negative 2 thirds. If we plug this into our slope intercept standard form, we have y is equal to 3x minus 2 thirds. Okay? And in order for us to find the general equation of this line, the general equation of this line, again, is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Okay? So, we have to multiply this, both sides, by okay, by 3 to eliminate the 3 here. So, let's try to... Let me just erase this first. So, let's try to multiply that with 3. So, we have now 3y is equal to 9x minus 2. 
Therefore, we have 9x minus 3y minus 2 is equals to 0. So that is our general equation of our line. Okay, so pretty easy, right? So number two, we have find the general equation of the line passing through 2 and negative 3 and negative 4 and 5. So we have two coordinates. So we have 2, negative 3, and we have negative 4 and 5. Okay, so given the two points, we can actually find the equation of the line okay so in order for us to to draw a line we must have two points okay so i can label this as x sub 1 y sub 1 x sub 2 as y sub 2 so from the previous formula of standard formula we can use the two point form which is y minus y sub 1 multiplied by y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 multiplied by x minus x sub 1. So, uh, it doesn't matter what, uh, on how will you label this uh, x sub 1 and x sub 2. It can be interchanged as long as you will be consistent. Okay, in you see, if, if, if you label this as x sub 2, well, this is also y sub 2. If you label this as x sub 1, then this is, should be also y sub 1. For, but for simplicity, we label this as x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. So, let's try to uh, substitute the value. So, we have y minus of the negative 3, take note, that is minus, and we have a negative 3 here, is equal to y sub 2, which is 5, this one, minus y sub 1, again, negative 3, over x sub 2, which is negative 4, minus x sub 1, minus 2, and multiplied by x minus x sub 1, which is 2. So if you're going to evaluate this, so we have y plus 3 because distributing this sign would be positive. So we have, this would be positive, 5 plus 3 over negative 6. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 multiplied by x minus 2. So we have y plus 3 is equals to 8 over negative 6 multiplied by x minus 2. So, what we can do is to actually, if we're going to simplify this lowest term, okay, so we can have y plus 3, this is equivalent to negative 4 over 3 times x minus 2, okay? So, to eliminate the 3, okay, on the denominator, we must multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So, upon doing that, we have 3y plus 9 is equals to negative 4 times x minus 2. So we have 3y plus 9 is equals to negative 4x plus 8. Okay, negative 4 times negative 2 is would be plus 8. So if I'm going to distrib uh, transpose this on the left side, so we have 4x plus 3y plus 9, transpose this also, minus 8 is equals to 0. So we have the general equation of a line as 4x plus 3y plus 1 is equals to Zero. So that would be our general equation of the line. Okay, let's try number three. So for number three, find the equation of the line with slope equal to one third and passing through five and negative three. And again, same scenario. We have slope is equals to one third, and we have another point five and negative three. Let me just job, double check that. So we have five, negative three. Okay. So we have a slope here and a point here. So we can use the point slope form to find the general equation of the line. So the point slope form is y minus y sub 1 is equals to m multiplied by x minus x sub 1. Okay, so we have y minus, this would be our y sub 1, negative 3 is equal to 1 third, that is our slope multiplied by x minus x sub 1, which is 5, okay? So we have y plus 3, because negative minus negative, okay? We have positive, or negative multiplied by negative, I'm sorry, that's positive. So we have one third 
x minus 5. So, if we are going to multiply both sides by 3 to eliminate the denominator 3, so we'll be having, again, 3y plus 9 is equals to 1 times x minus 5, or simply 3y plus 9 is equals to x minus 5. And putting that in our general form, we have x minus 3y, if I'm going to transpose this here, minus 3y minus 9 minus 5 is equal now to 0. Okay, so we have x minus 3y minus 14 is equals to 0. So this would be our general equation being asked in number 3. Okay, so let's try the fourth one. Write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that passes to 2 and negative 3 and parallel to the line 2x minus 3y is equals to 7. So for number 4, we need to change the question. Okay, for us to be consistent, we need to find the general equation of the line. Okay, of line. And it passes through the point 2 and negative 3 and parallel okay, to the line uh, 2x minus 3y is equals to 7. So what's the relationship of this line and this line is that they are parallel. And when we say parallel, okay, for example, this is the line 1 and this is the line 2. If we get the slope of m1, which is the line, the slope of the line 1, if they are parallel, they have the same slope. So what I'm going to do is to find the slope of this in order for us to find the equation because we need to have the slope of this because that slope of this is equal to that equation of the line passing through this. So if we, we get the slope of this and we have a point, we can use the point slope form to find the general equation of the line. So how do we find the slope of this? Okay, We need to um, write this in slope intercept form so that we have 2x oops we have 2x minus 7 is equals to 3y if i'm going to divide both sides by 3 what will happen i have 2 thirds minus 7 over 3 is equals to y and this is now in terms of uh, slope intercept form so we have y is equals to 2 thirds x minus 7 over 3 and take note that this is equal to my slope, which is our m, in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. So the slope, therefore, of that line passing through this and is parallel to this line, the slope is two-thirds. Okay, so I have a slope, I have a point, I can use the point slope form to find the line, okay, being asked. So I have y minus, this would be my y sub 1, negative 3 is equal to 2 thirds multiplied by x minus x sub 1 which is 2. So I have y plus 3 is equal to 2 thirds x minus 2. So if I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, we have 3 times y plus 3 is equal to 2 times x minus 2. I have 3y plus 9 is equal to 2x minus 4. And again, transposing this on the left, right side, we have 2x minus 3y minus 4 minus 9 is equal to 0. So we have 2x minus 3y minus 13 is equal to 0. And that is our general equation of the line. Okay, being asked. Okay, so for number 5. Find the slope and the y-intercept of the line represented by the following equations. 4x plus 5y is equal to negative 12 and 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. So we are going to find the slope and the y-intercept of that given two lines. So for number 5, okay, we have the lines uh, 4x plus 5y is equal to negative 12. And we have 3x minus 2y is equal to 7. So first, we need to find the slope. Okay? So for number 1, okay, the slope is actually given by negative AB. 
Okay, the shortcut. So, we have the general form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So, we need to convert this into general form. We have 4x plus 5y plus 12. Okay, that would be plus 12 is equals to 0. So, this is our a, the coefficient a, and we have the b. So, the slope, therefore, is negative a over b. So, we have m is equal to negative 4 over 5. And that is the slope of the first line. Okay? So, if you don't believe me, let's try to put this into y slope intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? So, we isolate y okay, by uh, what we do. So, we have 4x plus 12 is equal to negative 5y. Divide both sides, okay, by negative 5. So what will happen? We have y here. We have negative 4 over 5 here minus 12 over 5. Okay, I have x here. I'm so sorry. So you have negative 4 over 5x minus 12 over 5. So this is the slope. Okay, so that's the slope. The same. Okay, how about the y-intercept? Okay, the y-intercept is best uh, solved when given in this uh, form, general equation of the form. So, if we want to find the y-intercept of this equation, we have to let x is equal to 0. Likewise, if you are going to find the x-intercept, you're going to let y is equal to 0. Then solve for x. But since we are asked to find the y-intercept, we have to let x is equal to 0 and find the value of y. So 4 times 0 plus 5y plus 12 is equal to 0. So this would be 0. So we have 5y is equal to negative 12. Transpose this on the right side. So for y, that is negative 12 over 5. So this is our y-intercept y-intercept and this is our slope for the first given line how about for the second for the second given line 3x minus 2y 3x minus 2y is equal to 7 we read to uh, uh, rearrange this into general form okay so that our a is 3 and our b is negative 2. So to get the slope, we have negative a over b. So we have negative 3 over b, which is negative 2. So we have negative 3 over negative 2 is 3 halves. That's the slope. How about the y-intercept? The y-intercept, again, is actually get when we let x is equal to 0, then we solve for y. So we know that this term would be 0. So we have negative 2y is equals to 7, transposing it on the right side. So we have y is equals to negative 7 over 2. So that is our uh, y-intercept, or which is equal to b. Okay, that is the y-intercept. So I hope you guys learned something for today. This is our short lesson, all about straight lines. Okay, and thank you so much for listening. And I hope... You learned something from this video. Thank you so much and God bless.